Visiting a Stanford scholar exposes a registered sex offender who served time. And tonight, university leaders admit they had no idea. Night Beats Maria Medina live at Stanford with more on the university's response. Maria? Well, Kurt Mittman has been here for two months, and the university says he is in a non-teaching position, but some students say it still doesn't matter. Do you think a registered sex offender belongs here on campus? No. But among them for the last two months was Kurt Mittman, a registered sex offender, convicted of sexually assaulting a young boy while Mittman worked at a Pennsylvania summer camp in 2004. I don't want to see sex offenders on campus. Students like Michael Bloomer may have never even known about Mittman had it not been for Stanford's online student publication, The Fountain Hopper, which first reported Mittman's conviction yesterday. A Stanford spokesperson admitted to KPIX 5, we became aware through a media report that a visiting scholar was a registered sex offender. We are currently reviewing the facts around this matter. I've seen Stanford drop the ball on sexual assault more than once. But some students believe the university could have done more to screen Mittman, who is an economist and scheduled to remain on campus until next month in an unpaid non-teaching role. Not only does Mittman come up on the state's sex offender registry, but a quick internet search shows the public outcry when Mittman was discovered at another campus. In 2007, he was allowed to leave prison for 12 hours a day to attend the University of Pennsylvania. My biggest concern is just are we making campus safer in general? Michael believes Stanford needs to do more and not just in this case. I can only wonder what kind of failure in the system caused him not to be found out as a registered sex offender. And a university spokesperson says Mittman does not live on campus. The Megan's Law website shows him staying in Palo Alto. Live in the night beat, I'm Marie Medina.